So it's uh, Friday the 13th of October. I've got about 45 minutes an hour to have a cast in these two pools. Um, I'm expecting nothing. Um, I was just thinking where I could come for a really quick cast before I've got to go get the shop in. Um, my daughter has no lesson today, so I'm going to finish, finish work um, at half three and then drove down and thought I'd come here for, for a little bit. But uh, last day tomorrow, and I'm not sure if I'll get out or not. I might do, I might. There's not really much water, so it's really just... <laughs> It's just a case of uh, continuing the obsession for a little bit longer. So, I'm just going to have a wee cast in this pool here. And then into the pool below it. Tide's coming in. High tide's at 10 to 7, so... My thinking is, maybe there's a fish in this pool. I've got to be careful because I've got my crap boots on, so going to be falling over so very clear let's have a go in this pool you never know we're getting a bit late now in the day for I mean, there may still be fish, some fish running some of the rivers, but I'm not sure about this one. It's worth a cast. I'll try and let that fly. It's all sorts of currents here. It's, it's a deep, deep pool here, and then it shelves up quick. So I hope everyone else's uh, end of the season's gone okay and it's always a bit of a mixed feelings isn't it really. Just know that that's it for the fishing really for a while. As I say, well, game fishing I mean, I'll do a little bit over the winter, a little bit of pike fishing maybe. generally it there's a definite that definite chill in the air now it's uh, on the way to work this morning it was like seven degrees so definitely changing if you can see down there it's so deep well, it's just so clear.
Oh, here comes the rain. So, so I put it in my weather case. What is this? This is unexpected. A sea trout. Fighting oh. salmon. My gosh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> come on, do not come off, please. fish I don't really want to go further down the pool because in case there's another
That's absolutely brilliant. Let's try and deal with this fish. That's a that's a cracker. That's the fly that did the damage. It's like a sort of cascade with a green green ass. Wow. I was I was not expecting that. That was a great fish. Now I'm gonna I got I want it took a bit long with that because I wanted to take a few photos of it so I could send it off to the Rivers Trust. Um, I don't think that's a farm salmon. Um, it had a bit unusual markings on its gills and that, but its fins a great nick. So I don't know. Uh, I'm not 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 brilliant at this kind of thing, but um, it's gone back. It's a very well conditioned fish. I've seen some pictures of a couple of fish caught this week. Definitely farm fish because the fins are really eroded. So I'm pretty sure that's not. So um, that's a, that was a, an absolutely fantastic fish. So uh, I'm dead chuffed. Great bite. Uh, and uh, I got a comment from somebody, I think it was in one of my other videos, I'm not sure if it was from Norway or Finland, I'm terrible, I can't remember the name, telling me to let the fly swing more and not really retrieve, so there you did, I let it swing there, and I think I was figure of eating it very slowly, um, but that was a great, a great fish, so I'm dead chuffed, that's nine, so 13th of October, I may come out tomorrow morning, no hope for me. I'm totally addicted to it. So um, yeah, I may probably do a little video, a quick video of this. So if you watched it, tight lines, and uh, I'm gonna have another cast for five minutes, and then I'm gonna get off to get the shopping. All right, I'll catch you later.